Hi guys and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today we we're actually going to be taking a look at Algorand. This is a project that we don't cover all that often. It doesn't seem to get too much traction in the land of YouTube. But that being said, we are invested in it and I thought I'd mix things up and do some technical analysis for you guys on Algorand. Now, um, we are starting things with this weekly chart. Do you want to just kind of talk about a couple of things? Obviously, we have two Fibonacci retracement tools. We have this one on the left-hand side. Um, this one basically goes from all-time high down to the low of the bear market. This one goes to March 2020 and then gives us some interesting price expectations accordingly. Over here on the right-hand side, we have the Fibonacci from the top of wave three down to the bottom of wave four. And again, we have these expectations set according to that one. Now, there is this uh, idea of a five impulse waves to the upside here for Algo. Um, however, it is no longer actually valid. We actually saw this kind of come out of play. Um, during the fourth wave correction okay so a lot of people in this space obviously do not necessarily adhere to what the rules are around Elliott theory but obviously we have to acknowledge uh, one of the most glaringly obvious ones when it comes to this particular theory and that is that we cannot go below wave one with wave four otherwise there is no impulse waves to the upside right that just completely invalidates it. and what we saw here with wave four is it actually went below our wave one and therefore um, we need to take this out of play it is not something that we're seeing it's completely invalidated so there are no uh, waves in that regard on this weekly chart now there are going to be waves elsewhere and um, but it's just not in that particular motion so i'm going to take that one out um, and we're going to talk about these price expectations on these two fibs and then we're going to get into those lower time frames okay let's see what's uh, we'll see what we could expect to happen next now before we talk about the price expectations of this one uh, we are going to talk about this fibonacci here and obviously the fact that we are heading to the overbought area on the stochastic rsi okay so 81 right now overbought on the fast line but slightly below at 65 on the slow line and um, still plenty of room to grow here not nothing to really worry about overbought uh, during our third wave or what was the third wave at the time and pushing up nicely here and um, we're up, up overbought for quite some time uh, we come down into this oversold area like we have done over previously uh, during this area here and again we were overbought for quite some time when things really kick-started after the crash in March okay and um, so on here this thing's looking pretty good we actually just jumped down actually we'll stay here for a moment while we talk about this fib so um on here we come to see the the high that was set during uh, basically February, right? We obviously wicked up quite higher, but we didn't quite get there. Um, and we're rejected from the 786, uh, the 702, the 618, uh, all the way down to our lower areas down here, right? During this particular motion, uh, we then started to see some good traction back to the upside, taking out the 382 most recently, but it has become a bit of a resistance point for us. So for our grand, it really needs to push on through this. Um, and then obviously go after the 50% retracement zone at $1.25 before we start to see some decent traction where the battle really starts. Uh, I will mark this up just here guys because it really kick starts when we go above as you saw with a few other projects most recently um the 618 702 786 right that yellow box area is a key area um on this fibonacci chart that we want to see push through and get the closed candle above okay getting the closed candle above this area is a big bull signal as we saw with algorand uh, sorry as we saw with Air cardano and ada and um, that's where we're really going to start seeing things for algorand really push further forward okay and um, so right now resistance um, and we'll get into those in a moment on the shorter time frames price expectations the first target is two dollars and 56 the second target is three dollars and 73 the third target is four dollars 90 fourth target the final extension on this fib comes in at five dollars and 62 okay so pretty reasonable price expectations um, but of course we have to acknowledge the previous all-time high and the low point that actually gives us a different perspective right um, on this one we can see that actually we could be going after the five dollars 50 as the first target $8.84 as the second target, $12.18 as the third target, and then $14.24 as your final target for the bull run. I like to think that we'll be somewhere between the two of these. I don't think we're necessarily going to go for that 4.236 extension um, that we've seen previously. Um, Algorand just hasn't really performed as well as some of these other blockchains, um, specifically for smart contracts at the moment. That being said, I like, to, I like the idea of this particular area just here. This is the, the $8.84 area. I think that that's a pretty reasonable area that we could potentially see an overextension on the right-hand side, this fib here, um, where we could go after potentially the, the 2.618 
and maybe if we're lucky that uh, that 3.618 okay so that's basically $8.84 or $12.18 so there's some good price expectations according to that um, I think that this is a bit shallow this uh, this Fibonacci over here so um, talking about $5.62 I feel that's a bit shallow I think we can overextend that um, but that's again just my opinion based on the fundamentals and not the technicals right so if we're looking at the technicals and the current performance that does kind of give us to where we are right now in terms of $5.62 okay so lots of work to kind of be put to, to bed here and lots of things to kind of look forward to in the near future now from a percentage point of view just moving up to um, $5.62 is 400% um, gains to be had there and if we do actually go after uh, where I think we might actually end up uh, which would put us about uh, yeah 690 so we'll call it 700% um, from the current position if we were to go after $8.84 okay so lots of things to look forward to now let's actually jump down into our daily view and to here we can see for Algorand that we are heading to the oversold area and um, there is still a reasonable amount of area to actually fall down into we you know we haven't completely gone into the oversold um, and we are seeing a pullback so I have to check the hourly chart in a moment we found resistance up here this is an area of resistance that we've been wicking to just past the uh, 382 area of the Fibonacci um, and again this is an area that we consolidated down on before really failing and then finding support a little bit lower and um, so right now for Algorand yeah we've got a little bit of work ahead of us right we've got to go and push this back to the upside we need to see some good volume come in right we see that the volume did drop and we started to increase the volume here as we were selling uh, this little pocket here and we've seen good buying volume today um, but we need to see that continue if we want to really take advantage um, of our positioning and our stochastic RSI um, so lots of things to play for there's a fair bit of resistance in this area though before we can talk about going to the 618 for Algorand and um, so we are looking to see if we can get some momentum going here there seems to be a little bit of traction let's see if we can get that to continue when we jump down into our hourly view uh, here we can see that the volumes completely died out right they went right away back down there seems to be a little bit of a pocket here for one particular hour um, as the price was pushing up during this push to the upside we were overbought and we have come down to a nice oversold area without doing too much damage to the price with that volume nice and low and um, that could basically see a good swing to the upside in the very near future right we'll continue to just drop down a little bit here of the momentum and then see if we can spike up nice and strong get some decent traction with some volume behind us in the same way that we saw over here and if we can see that then I think we'll be heading up a little bit further and we'll, we'll be heading on our journey to the 618 I don't think we'll do it in one foul swoop um, but we can of course take little steps to the upside and get us closer and closer to our target of that 786 area before we can start really talking about price discovery and what to look forward to next um, overall um, you know Algorand has not performed as better as well as maybe you know some of its competitors but is still an absolutely fantastic project with fantastic tech technology behind it I think long term it's going to do incredibly well and um, so we are lo looking forward to some significant gains on this one like I said I am invested in it and uh, I do think this is going to do really really well during the bull run and of course we'll be accumulating more algo during the bear market as well and um, lots of things to look forward to but if you're ever in doubt do zoom out and um, check out where we are heading on the weekly chart right we obviously know where uh, the Fibonacci is extending to we obviously have our price expectations set accordingly um, and I do think we're going to see a pretty good run for algo and um, during this uh, close of quarter three going into quarter four um, and seeing the end of the bull run peaking quite nicely here for algo guys hopefully you have found this video useful and informative if you have hit the like button i really appreciate that if you are new subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at cheeky crypto with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one